I've been an Apple guy for a long time. I even worked at the Apple Store for a short time when the iPhone was AT&T exclusive and the iPad didn't have a camera. But we're here to talk about the Mac, and more specifically, some great software for it. Some of these apps you may have never heard of, and some of them you already have installed on your computer. Today, I'm going to share with you my favorite, mostly Mac exclusive apps for productivity and creativity. I'm Jason, aka Maslin Monty, and here's 8 great Mac apps. If you decide you want to install any of these apps, you'll first need to make sure you have enough free space on your Mac. And that's where our first app, DaisyDisk, comes in handy. With DaisyDisk, form is function. It will scan your drive and give you a visual representation of what's taking up space on your computer. The initial scan is quick, taking less than a minute on my 1TB SSD. From there, you can preview files like you can in Finder with the spacebar, and drag and drop files into the corner to prepare to delete them. It can even scan your bootcamp partition, although that's read-only. DaisyDisk can be found in the Mac App Store for $10. Next up is a pair of apps, Pixelmator and Pixelmator Pro, depending on your image editing needs. I did a video on Pixelmator Pro a few months back, and I'm happy to report that it runs even better than before. They've released multiple updates with extra bug fixes and new features, and it just flies on modern Macs. If you want more details on it, check out my previous video. If Pixelmator Pro looks great, but is out of your budget, I would recommend checking out the classic Pixelmator. With most of the features of Pro, and a more friendly interface for beginners, Pixelmator is a fantastic value. I've used both apps to make my YouTube thumbnails since I started the channel, and I've only barely scratched the surface on what these apps have to offer. Moving over to audio, GarageBand is great if you're wanting to record something with a mic, but say you're wanting to record system sounds, like a podcast or audio from a video. That's where Audio Hijack comes in handy, and that's just the tip of the iceberg of its features. Audio Hijack is a one-stop shop for recording any audio. Podcasts, multiple mics at once, Skype calls, and even Apple Music or Spotify songs if you're wanting to play fast and loose with the law. With granular controls over quality and automation support, Audio Hijack is a pro app that justifies its frankly pro price of $59. But if you aren't looking to pay a lot for some great software, then look no further than what came built in with your Mac. In my opinion, QuickTime and Preview are two Mac apps that go horribly underused with most people. You know QuickTime as the movie playback app, but it also has some really cool recording features. Besides being able to record from your mic or webcam, QuickTime also will record your screen. I use this all the time. In fact, you've seen the results of it several times in this video already. Preview is the same way. A lot of people just use it as a PDF viewer, but it has a whole lot more potential than just that. Preview will let you annotate and crop images, adjust color, and add shapes, as well as convert formats. On top of that, the coolest trick is Instant Alpha. This is great for getting the background out of pictures, so that this doesn't look like this with the blocky border. Moving on, we've got another free app, Brave. I've mentioned this in another video, but I think it's worth talking about again, because it seems like nobody knows about it. Brave is a newer web browser with a unique paradigm. Built to be fast and lightweight, Brave includes an ad blocker built into the browser, as well as some forward-thinking features, like the ability to directly pay content creators and websites you visit if you want to support them. Shameless plug to my referral link in the description below. And finally, we have an app that's aimed at Touch Bar MacBook Pro owners. Better Touch Tool. At less than $7, this app is seriously a steal. It single-handedly swayed my opinion on the MacBook Pro Touch Bar. Seriously, before this app, the MacBook Pro Touch Bar is a gimmick. With it, it's a better gimmick. Better Touch Tool does a lot, but I want to focus on what it allows you to do with the Touch Bar. Specifically, it allows you to create shortcuts or workflows that can be mapped to custom buttons on the Touch Bar. You can make these shortcuts per app or system-wide. For instance, I have a system-wide shortcut to open the YouTube folder on my computer, as well as another shortcut to open QuickTime to screen recording. On top of the touch bar features, you get access to customize other features of the Mac. For instance, it enables Windows snapping like you get in Windows, but just like with everything else in this app, you can customize that even further. I don't scratch the surface of what this app can do, but I still feel like I've well gotten my money's worth. Seriously, go check it out. I'll leave a link for it, as well as the other apps I've talked about, in the description below. 
Anyway, those are eight great Mac apps you should check out. For the most part, I tried not to have too many expensive apps on this list. I could talk about Final Cut Pro all day long, but that's a $300 app. But what do you think? Did I miss any great Mac apps? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and get subscribed. Once again, I'm Jason, aka Maslin Monty. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.